I, I'm kind of worried about her. I've noticed some signs. You guys keep asking about the beast. Big Joe, here he is. He's hanging out. Oh, mama's super feisty. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Hanging out with Big Joe and the family. Got Kit and her little heifer baby. We got Flo down here. A lot of you have been asking about Big Joe. How's Big Joe? I know I haven't been putting him on here very much, but he's good. He's uh, got a fresh bale of hay and whatnot. But just so you guys know, I know you see him in this area, okay? But they get to go out and graze grass, just so you guys know. We also put hay out for them right now. Kevin put a bale of hay out here today. They get to go out and graze. They're not always stuck in here. So we got some interesting things coming up. Pretty soon we got breeding season, which is gonna involve this guy and Dunbar. It's the first time that we've actually had the two in the middle of breeding season. Uh, last year when I got Big Joe, uh, Kit and Flo, it was I think September, October, kind of at the end of breeding season. And both of these two were pretty much bred already by then. It's gonna be interesting this year because when those smells start going, which is, uh, basically the breeding season is about from july to september so here pretty soon and according to whenever my all these babies were born even my main herd the dunbar herd they were all born kind of in a clump of two weeks those uh five and then right here this is the first born she was born may 5th and then the other five the other five in the dunbar herd they're all born within like two weeks of each other that means those babies were conceived in july and i talked about my feeder system and and that paying off could be really interesting uh, because breeding season is going to start and i'm not sure how dunbar and big joe will act but Kit is pretty protective. This is Flo. She is she is one of the last ones to have a calf. I, I'm kind of worried about her. I've noticed some signs from Flo. When I say signs, it gets a little uh so when I do talk about signs that a female is giving, is about to give birth or is getting close, it gets a little detailed, but one of the things that we can see is a vulva. That's one of the first signs we look at as they're getting close because it will swell up. And in this case right now, hers has been swollen for about two weeks now. Another sign that you can look at is the udder. Now, bison udders are very hard to see because they're not very low. Opposite of a cow, a cow's udder, like especially a dairy cow, sits pretty low. But on these bison, they sit up pretty high into them. Those are two signs. Like I said, I've been getting kind of worried, wondering when she's gonna actually have this calf. She's supposed to have a calf According to the, the previous owners of Kit and Flo and Big Joe, they were like days apart typically. And when Kit had her baby, May 5th, I thought, okay, well surely Flo will have her baby. Well, she didn't. It's been almost two months since she's had her baby. So she must have come in heat later than Kit. And, and another son. Maybe the third one is obviously the belly. It starts to sink low and you can tell that calf is starting to move around. It's pretty swollen. See her udder. Just a little bit. Sorry, I know it's a little bit graphic, but I'm just trying to teach you a little bit. It's not much different than cattle, 
I didn't spend a lot of time growing up around cattle. Uh, just what I've learned with the bison and being around them. One of the first things I look at is a vulva. Two, you know if their bag is getting bigger, they're getting really close. And then obviously the belly, you can tell. Her udder, I notice is getting a little bit bigger. So I hope, I hope Flo has her calf pretty soon and I hope we don't have to have any issues. We shouldn't, bison typically don't have any issues. No, you don't have to go out and pull them hardly ever nor do I ever want to do that. Oh my lord. Uh, especially like messing with a cow like Kit here. She is feisty and I don't think she's going to let me come in uh, the pasture with her. She is not happy with me. Okay. And pull a calf out. That is something I do not want to do. Ever have to do. Uh, I think one of the only times is that would ever happen would be basically you have a first time female or a heifer having a calf and if they're a little young and not quite big enough they could have some calving issues and that may be the only time you actually have to pull a bison calf other than that you shouldn't have to and if you did good luck i can't imagine i can't imagine doing that like just being around her no thanks no thank you a cow i've done that before in high school, I've had to pull some calves before from cattle. You know, that's not bad, but uh, not a bison. And hopefully, I don't ever have to do that. Let's go check the Dunbar herd. Always staying between me and that baby. All right, I'm done. I'll leave you alone. And as you can tell, the Dunbar herd is doing great. It's a little hot, so they're rolling around in the mud and they're loving that. The red dogs are doing good. 
still have a total of six, including this young one right here. Less than a couple of weeks is breeding season, like I said. I got some things to think about. I'm gonna put in some of my original herd females and mix in with the Big Joe herd. I'm gonna let Big Joe spread some love so we can have some Big Joe babies. And I may switch these two out, Kit and Flo. Flo is laid on her calf, so that may be an issue. We may be switching them out some and trying to create some uh, different offspring. Stay tuned for that. I'd say here pretty soon, we're gonna be switching females out with uh, the males. And um, that could be really interesting actually. So something we've never done before here on the Cross Timbers Ranch. I don't know. We, we've got some thinking to do. I'm kind of picking out what cows I want with Big Joe and what cows I want with Dunbar just to try to mix it up some. Also, I got some exciting news coming for uh, our family. Let you know about that. Stay tuned for my Thursday video and I'll keep you posted on what's happening there. And it's, uh, I think, gonna be a really good situation for us and it's a great opportunity for us to grow the herd. Like I've already said, that's my goal and uh, we may have a really good opportunity to do that. You guys know what I have to have if I want to grow the herd. So with that said, also I'm dropping a shirt today. Dropped it this morning. Check it out online at crosstimmersbison.com. I got you a 4th of July shirt, new design, everything. Go check it out on our website. Order it, we're gonna ship it out early this week so that we can get it to you for the 4th of July. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't, subscribe to us, follow us along, raising the American bison. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm. Shock to see yourself. Well, it, it had rained already. Yeah. I want a horse on that. Yeah.